thought I was effortless. And can't nobody tell me nothing because I was effortless. Effortless. I might talk a lot, but I'm very entertaining. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is a shelf that is basically in the entryway um, to my master bedroom. I'm actually about to move this shelf <clears throat> all the way into my walk-in closet area back there. Um, I just think it'd look a lot better in my walk-in closet opposed to being out here in the master bedroom area. Um, I'm going to take all this stuff off. I already started with the top shelf, but I'm going to take all of this stuff off and... I'm going to see how it looks in the walk-in closet. And if it looks good in the walk-in closet and I really like it, then I'm definitely going to keep it there and I'm going to just rearrange all the stuff all over again. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to put in here next. Um, that's something I'm really going to have to think about because um, I don't want it to look too, I don't know how to call it, like too bare in my room. Like I want there to be a good amount of stuff in here so that it doesn't look... Like, I didn't put much effort into interior designing this room. Um, keep in mind, this master bedroom is really, really, really big. Um, it's a lot of space in this room. Um, and I'm really trying to figure out <clears throat> what to do with it because I have never lived in such a... Um, I mean, the last time I lived in a big bedroom like this was when I lived with my mom. Um, living on my own, I didn't live in a huge bedroom like this. But anywho... I don't like the idea of like my bags being exposed just out in the open. I like the idea of my bags being in my walk-in closet, um, just kind of hidden away. It's my little like makeup room, walk-in closet with all my accessories. So I think this would look way better in there. Anyways, let's give it a look. Let's see how it is and hopefully it works out. Okay. So this is the end result. I ended up basically reorganizing the entire shelf. Um, I think it just looks a lot better in the closet with all the rest of the stuff. This way, this could be my little <clears throat> go-to spot for me getting ready, getting dressed, and, you know everything's literally here i got my lotion my fragrances of course and everything else so yeah i think it looks a lot better in my walk-in closet i'm still trying to figure everything out and how i want everything to look but so far so good i think i'm gonna leave this here i don't think i'm gonna move it back into my um Oh, my master bedroom area. I think it looks perfect here. I think it just fits it so well.
Estee Lauder skincare stuff that I recently got. So they were recently doing a sale and I decided to grab me a couple of things. Um, <clears throat> so I think I got a sample of this and then I think I got like a whole kit. And I think this comes with like, as you can see, it comes with everything that you see in the box. I'm about to check that real quick. But I just want to let you know what I got here. And then I got this. Oh, this is cute. Um, and I got a full size, oop, a full size product. So let's try to first with this unboxing. So let's see what we got here. So I think it comes with two full sizes, meaning like I bought one full size of this and then I have another full size of this. Um, so here's the minis. Like I consider these like travel size worthy. Ooh, camera focus, focus camera. Yeah, so this is the advanced night repair for the eyes. And I have three of these as it shows. So I'm So these are all the same ones. So these are mini ones, great for traveling if you're on the go with your jet set babe. We have these right here. And then we have the full size one. <clears throat> so this is the full size one. To my knowledge, this is full size. It doesn't feel like or look like it's full size. I think it's just a, a bigger size, like a, a, a neck size up from the minis because I, from what I remember, I thought I was getting a full size, but I don't know, maybe not, it's whatever though. It's cool. I love the advanced night repair cream under the eye. I, I love it. It just moisturizes and it doesn't leave any cast or color or anything like that. And um, I feel like it gets rid of my bags. Like when I have bags and I've been partying too hard, I definitely gets rid of those. Now, let's see if we can open up this. Okay. So, it looks like it comes with... Oh, that's cute. Okay, so like a mini little um, makeup pouch, I'm assuming. And it has something. It says something in it. Bag fabric is made from 100% recyclable materials. Okay, so... That's good for the earth. Okay, so it's a clip-on attachment. And then we got this little dangle design here. This is really cute. And this is like the main. Oh, okay. Now this comes with extra goodies. I didn't know it came with this much stuff. We have some more samples. We have a full-size product. It doesn't necessarily look like it. Let me open this up. Show you guys real quick. These scissors are like what? And I cut into it. Okay, so Estee Larder recharge your radiance and soft. I mean, with silky soft serums and creams. Okay, so this is a new product that I am um, got from them that I've never tried before. Look at me just cutting up stuff, trying to get inside the bag. Well, let's we'll see. So we have the, okay, the soft cleanser. So um, it's basically a cleansing foam. Um, let's see, focus, focus for dry skin. Mm, okay, I don't necessarily suffer from dry skin. I have a combination. That's okay. And then we have, okay this which is a face cream and neck cream this is for the nighttime as well and then we have advanced night repair the regular one not for the eyes but like just for the face itself i actually really love this i've had this i've had this before and i've had the eye cream as well um 
Let's see. What else? Let's see what else I got here. I have the okay some more neck and cream and this is like the moisturizing line to like moisturize and restore moisture is all the pink stuff let's see what else i got okay i got a lipstick i want to see what color that is and then i got another eye cream jesus i thought i was gonna get a full size um but none of this is full size all of this is like sample size which is kind of annoying um because I was under the impression that I would get, like, a full-size item. But none of this is full-size. Like, not even this is full-size. And I know that for a fact because I have the full-size right here. This is the full-size for the advanced eye cream. I mean, this they may be two different things, but I'm pretty sure they're probably the same thing. Um, but, yeah, this is more of, like, a full-size than any of these bottles here. So none of them are full-size. Um, <clears throat> but let me see about this lipstick, right? Because I don't even really wear lipstick anymore. Um, whatever, let's see. Okay, so it's like a red. Let me see if this focuses. It's like a red lipstick. Not really a fan, but whatever. And let me see. What's the color name? Let's see if it'll focus here. Ah, it's taking too long to focus. Pure Color Envy 420 Rebellious Rose. So it's it's it comes on, it looks like a red, but I think it's like a reddish pink. Um, maybe I can do a swatch for you guys and show you guys what it looks like, but mm, I don't know if I'm really gonna use this. Um, but I have a ton of eye repair and a little bit of moisture and you guys see how tiny this is it's not really that big it's not really that big it's super tiny so i mean yeah next time i'll just read the description for the sale the like the event sale online because Apparently, you can't just add anything to the cart and get a full size of at least one item, which is kind of, it kind of sucks. But, um, whatever. I guess it's still worth the, um, $80 that was spent because technically, this is a lot of product. It's just all, like, travel size, sample size. So, if I, <clears throat> I mean, I could, I can go and buy in-store products and get, I feel like, just as much samples um, just from buying one full size product, so that's why I kind of feel like this is a little, it's it's a little bit of a rip off, say, but it is what it is. I'm still gonna use the stuff. I still like Estee Lauder. I just will probably never shop online from now on. I'm most likely just gonna shop the in store sales because the online is a little janky. Yeah. Okay, guys, and we are back. Um. Let's see. I don't remember where we left off at, but I'm pretty sure it was me showing you guys the new Estee Lauder skincare products that I got. Um, very upset about that. The fact that all of them were like tiny travel size samples, in a sense. But, um going to show you guys some of the stuff that I recently got that I actually didn't get a chance to show you guys or if you're not on my social media you haven't been able to see these things so um yeah let's get into it so I never showed you guys what I got from Amazon recently because I literally just recently got it I have a lot of other stuff coming um from Amazon as well but this is one of the things that I did get. So I got this really cute vase. And it's just basically, um, it's basically a vase of a woman just with her collarbone and her chest. It's really pretty, really feminine. Um, it's really small too. Um, when I did the measurements, because now I check the measurements, when I did the measurements when the, with the measuring tape, I thought it would be a little bit bigger, but 
I don't think it is. Matter of fact, let me get the measuring tape. It said it was 17. I think it said it was 17, right? That's 17. Or did it say it was 7? Yeah, it must have been, yeah, it must have been like 7, 7 and a half-ish, kind of. Because that's how big it is. It's like a 7, kind of like a 7 and a half. Yeah. Yep, that's how tall it is. Um, it's not a big vase. It's a really small, cute vase. Um, I wish it was bigger, though. It would be cute if it was bigger. It's the back. Um, but it's not. Um, I wish they had it in like a brown, maybe beige color, but it's not. It's only in white. So I ended up getting this and I'm probably going to put some flowers in it. Obviously, it does not take a lot of flowers because, again, it is very, very small. I'll leave the information to this item either down below on the side of the screen or on this side, either or. Um, I will leave the link in the bio as well. You know, but I, you know, I'm good for that, guys. So, yeah, it's really pretty. I love it, and it's probably gonna go in my walk-in closet because it's so tiny and small. It probably takes like maybe like one or two, maybe even three plants if I'm lucky. But it's really nice. Let me put some. Um, it's kind of like it has this kind of chalky feel to it. Because it's a cement vase. Let me put some. Yeah, because I need this right now. I'm looking really dry. I'm looking dry. That's how I'm looking. That's how I'm feeling like I'm looking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I um use the Estee Lauder products recently like very recently so i haven't tried their um moisture rich foaming cleanser the whole pink line that they have it's a pink colored line this i've never used before from estee lauder i've only used their advanced night repair eye cream and their um gosh what is this called yeah, just advanced night repair line. I used all that stuff. I'd never use like <clears throat> their well, I did use their cleanser once. The cleanser is a foaming cleanser. Um, I think it's for uh both dry and combinated skin. It's in a green bottle, similar to this, but in a bigger size. It's in the green bottle. I mean not a green bottle, it's blue. If you know, then you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um that and this smell exactly the same. This is claimed to be for dry skin, so it's more, you know, on the, what do you call it? It's more on the moisturizing side. Um, it does moisturize my skin. I feel like it's like a moisturizing wash. It, does, it is foamy. It does get foamy. Um, and it doesn't dry out my skin, so I feel like it's definitely good for people with dry skin. Uh, I have never used it. It's my first time. I think I already said that. Whatever. Anyways, uh, I like it. I actually like it better than the blue combinated skin cleanser or the foaming cleanser for all skin types. I like this one better than the other one. Um, a lot better because I don't like the feeling of my skin being dried out. Um, and this just seems to work better when it comes to that. I shouldn't really be using these because I already said that I would use them for like when I'm traveling instead, just because they are really tiny. They're really, really tiny. But to be fair, you don't need a lot of this. You only need like a little pea size amount because a lot goes a long way because it's very thick formula. So that's what I like about that. Let me just fix this lighting real quick because it keeps on changing. I don't really like that. So let me see if I can do something about that. Okay, hopefully it will not change. Hopefully it will just stay the same even though my hands move back and forth. Yeah, it doesn't like it's really, it's like it's okay. All right, now, no, it's not okay. 
Okay, it's going to keep on doing that, but it's fine. Like, the color is going to keep on going in and out. It's really annoying, but there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I recently got some new skincare stuff because I talked to um, a lady at Ulta. Now, I, I love me some Ulta, but I really do love me some Sephora. I wasn't able to get to Sephora, so I decided to just walk into Ulta and see what I could get as far as skincare. So I got the Beauty Bio Gel Cleanser. If you know, you know. You push it up, the gel comes out in the middle. You rub it on your face. Um, I was told that this is good for combinated skin, oily T-zone, um, and acne prone skin. So I did get it. Um, you use this in the AM, PM, all around moisturizer. Um, I love it. It definitely feels like gel. Um, I haven't used it long enough to see an improvement, but a little definitely goes a long way because like I said, it feels like gel. Um, it doesn't dry sticky, but it feels like gel on your skin, like you're rubbing gel into your skin. So, yeah, and it's supposed to be a gel cream. It's supposed to be calming. It's supposed to be like lavender and other you know, elements to help you calm your skin and to help with, obviously, acne. And let's see what else I got. So recently, I got some luxury items. The luxury items I got, the most recent luxury item I got would definitely be my Jimmy Choo stuff. Now, I will show you guys, like... I'll show you guys clips of um, the bag that I bought. Um, and I did buy it in the color Latte, which is like a white color. Um, I'll show you guys somewhere either here or here. Um, I really do. I'm like in love, in love with this bag. It's a mini. It is a mini. Um, I'm kind of mad, so I don't want to show you guys the bag, but for reference, for reference, I will show you guys how tiny the bag is. So this is how tiny the bag is. Uh, I'll take it out or whatever, but this bag does have a stain on it, so I'm going to go back to the store and they're going to reorder me a bag to ship to the store so that I can, you know, do that little exchange because unfortunately this bag had a stain on it. So this is the bag. Um, I don't remember the name of the bag, but again, I will leave the name and all the other details and pictures um, basically in the corner of the video, whichever corner I choose. Um, it's really pretty. It has like crystals and it has the JC logo um, and it's just really cute. Um, it's perfect for me because again like I'm like um, five feet tall so cute little mini bags like this it really you know it goes well with me because I'm so tiny. Um, it does fit my phone. Um, my phone is actually I'm recording with the phone but um, it fits the iPhone 13 Pro to give you an idea of how wide it is. So the iPhone 13 Pro, it does. The Max, um, you might have to turn it up this way. It might be poking out because, again, this is a mini. It's a small bag. Um, maybe I can, to show you guys for reference, maybe I can put this here and then this here. You see how, like, I mean, of course, it's bigger than the base, but... You see like how they're not that far off as far as size. Um, I'll show you guys the inside of it. So this is how the, the bag handle kind of chills out, kind of chills to the side mostly. They have this in black and um, latte, which is this color, which is kind of considered like a cream white to me. Um, so there's the inside here and it comes with, let me see it comes with a strap here and it comes with two different sides so there's one side there's two sides it has two pockets on the inside one zip on um, pocket over here in the front 
and then like a fold out pocket over here in the back as you can see you can see it right here um and there's a middle piece right here that opens up as well for a small bag it has a lot of little compartments which i think is really cute and of course it comes with the strap i never use the strap it also has a magnet to keep this close if need be i never use the strap so it's not really it's not necessary for me um but yeah it's not like huge on logos like it's like a little bit more minimalistic you know kind of going for that now although i do love all my bags and my lv bags and i'll still wear them occasionally i stopped wearing them because they're a little too flashy a little too much for your logos you know i'm trying to tone it down a little bit you know less logos less oh you know that's a lv bag or less promoting the brand and more like oh what bag is that where did you get that from granted there is a logo right here but it's not like all over the freaking bag except for in the back you know uh, the problem with this bag is that it has like a fingerprint engraved in the leather it looks like and it's it is noticeable it almost looks like somebody you know when you take your hand and you glue you have that nail glue for the, the stick on nails it's almost like that. It looks like somebody had some nail glue on their hand and they actually pressed into the leather here and it kind of like stained the leather. And you can, I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Kind of don't want to show it, but um, it kind of, you know, it's a little upsetting because this is a good $1,500 bag, a, a, over $1,500, but you know, it's like, you know, it was the last one in store. So at least I got to see it and I got to wear it. And um, the gold accents, because these are gold, light gold accents, they pop out a lot more on the black bag. But I do not have a white luxury bag. All my bags are black. So I decided to go with this and... I can't wait to actually pick up my um, new one, the one that I'm going to get. I can't wait to pick that up. And I'm actually planning to purchase some shoes that I actually seen as well, but I had to sit on it because as much as I loved those shoes, I had to like think about it real hard. Like if I have to, you know, if I'm getting two things, two luxury items on one day or more than one item, then I have to kind of well, depending, that's not true. Sometimes I sit on it, sometimes I don't. But I just feel like, okay, do I really want these shoes? Sometimes you got to sit back and you got to think about it and you got to just, you know, give it a second. And if you still want them by the end of the week or you still want them the next day, then go get them. That's sometimes how I have to be because I'm a little bit of a compulsive buyer sometimes. Anyways, and we don't return things. We exchange things, we don't return things. Mm -mm. Unless it's like clothes so i got another great luxury item that i did not share with you guys because i'm pretty sure i forgot pretty sure i forgot um oh actually before i show you guys this let me show you guys the perfume that i got from jimmy choo as well this is the perfume i got from jimmy choo as well honestly um they had it displayed on near the cash register um, and I was like, Ooh, that looks nice. And then I started smelling some of the stuff. A lot of it smells really like grown womanish. And I mean like real grown. Um, this had more of like a floral smell to it. Sweet, very sweet floral, but very like still. Yeah. Cause I still got it on me. It's still very like, I'm a grown woman but like it's sweet and floral and a little bit like sophisticated, a little sophisticated, if that makes sense. It smells really nice. It smells feminine, but sophisticated and not so in your face and overpowering. Um, at first, when you spray it, it is, it's strong, but over time it kind of dulls out and it fades um, and it becomes a lot lighter. Now it's not overwhelming at all even when you first spray it, it's not overwhelming 
Um, I kind of don't like that it the smell fades over time because it becomes really, really, really faint. I mean, it's nice, but like people, you won't be able to smell it unless I'm like moving my hands and like, you know, moving around. Like if I'm sitting there still, you won't be able to smell that. I kind of like the idea of sm somebody smelling me from when I'm walking, like I when I'm moving and I walk into a room and then when I sit down, I kind of want the, I, I kind of like the idea of somebody smelling my perfume when I'm sitting still. This isn't really giving that um i don't know what the name of this perfume is um um i was told that this actually lasts longer on your skin and it does last long on your skin don't get me wrong i can smell the perfume still but i just gotta get close you know i gotta get close to my my hand in order to smell the perfume which kind of just it sucks a little bit i don't really like that but it is what it is. I still like the perfume and I'm not getting rid of it. I'm not exchanging it or returning it. I think this perfume ran for $190, no, about $190, $189. Um, I could look at the cost here. I'll still put it in the corners of the videos. Let me see. Uh, yeah, this is the receipt. Um, I spent... How much money did I spend in the store? I spent over sixteen thousand dollars in the store. Um, what's the name of the perfume? Oh, I don't know what the name of the perfume was. It, my credit card said, um, "Yeah." So that's what I got from Jimmy Choo. And I will be doing another unboxing when it comes to the shoes because I know, you know, I love me a good, a good luxury shoe. And they got some really nice classic shoes. So I ended up getting me, I mean, it was gifted to me. LV, you know what I'm saying? I love me some Louis Vuitton. But now I'm doing uh, the jewelry. So this the box. I'm going to take the receipt out because um, I got to tell you the cost of the jewelry. So the jewelry was almost $3,000, um, $2,879.38. Um, this I got this jewelry back when they were doing the tax-free sale for the month of August. Um I just wanted to show you guys this box because it's got, this box is very special to me. This box is literally a jewelry box in itself. And you got to remember, these people fold these boxes up. Okay? So we open up the box here. This is the opening one. And then you pull it out here with this little string. And then, boom, there's a whole nother drawer. It's like a little... Ooh, it's like a little jewelry box. It's really cute. And they fold these boxes up themselves. I know the boxes. What is that? Ew. It's like a. I'm not even going to say it. I know these boxes are actually worth money. Like you can sell these boxes and get money off of them. Um, you can also sell the bags and get money off of them as well. Not, not, not doing that. Um. This is just really nice. It's a whole jewelry box. On top of that, because this is what the jewelry came in, it also came in another box for safekeeping. So it was like a jewelry box within a box jewelry box. And then inside the little like drawer that they had inside this box, was this little safekeeping for travel on the go Louis Vuitton nice microfiber I believe pouch I believe it's microfiber I'm not sure but it's a fabric and you just throw your necklace in there it's really nice and now it's time for the big reveal I'm actually gonna see if I can put it somewhere over here so you can get a better look at it but this is the piece right here. It's there's a diamond there, and then this is a 
mother of pearl over here this is the bracelet um it comes with of course a full set meaning like the necklace as well and the earrings despite everything i think the earrings the earrings are the most expensive piece out of all the jewelry i'm not sure but i'm pretty sure that's true i'm going to get the necklace soon just wait on it because the necklace mm, and this they just go together like they go together it's really pretty i love it it goes so well with my skin tone i've gotten so many compliments from it um the bracelet um itself is gold gold diamond and mother of pearl what else can a woman ask for great combination so <laughs> i love it i love it <clears throat> thanks to my mm -hmm. he's probably gonna watch this yeah i want the necklace too anyway so um yeah we got that we got that out the bag i think that's about it I will go I will show you guys a little recap of where I've been at, what I've been doing, and why I've been so busy. I've had so many opportunities this summer to vlog. Like I was on a boat on multiple occasions and I never vlogged, which is horrible. I broke my phone because I was at a nightclub, so my phone cracked. Now I have a whole new phone. I could have recorded me going shopping to get a new phone like this is this is i'm living in real life like i'm living real life and i forget to pull out my camera because i'm like i'm not used to pulling out my camera and vlogging but i need to get used to doing that so my vows to you guys because people do watch me so i can't sit here and act like people don't watch me is I'm going to start pulling out my camera a lot more and vlogging these events because that way you'll be able to get more content a lot sooner. Anyways, guys, I think this is it. I think I'm going to close out this vlog. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm going to close out the vlog and start a new one all over again. Until next time. Love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do not forget to follow me on social media. Um, you know my social media handles by now. They'll probably be somewhere in the corner here. But, you know, just to keep up with me and get the first look, the first dibs on what I'm doing, social media is always um, a good idea because... Social media is quick, easy. These videos are not. These videos take time, patience, and a lot of editing. Anyways, love you guys, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.